What you are looking at here is a man drinking gin. But what is the purpose of the video, you ask? Well, this is a vlog. If you've never been to Melbourne before, it is a city of about 50 seasons in one day, even though there's only four seasons. That aside, we had some time to burn before dinner, so we went for a walk and all of a sudden we came across this very cool lane. We've been invited to the Pirelli World Launch. Now what this means, this is a few days in Melbourne. We're gonna be going to Phillip Island this morning where we'll be doing a Lamborghini on track experience and an off-road experience, I'm told. And now I'm going downstairs to get breakfast. We'll probably have them tell me that I'm running late and we need to go right away and miss out on breakfast. Pretty standard for me, but pretend I didn't tell you none of that. Follow me. Oh, hang on. Bit of uh, tennis before we take off? Yeah, no. What are you doing, mate? So yeah, this should be pretty good. We'll see what goes on. Uh, I'm gonna get some breakfast now, see what's left, and then uh, get on the journey. I'm uh, not a big fan of helicopters, so yeah. before we go. All right, with breakfast out of the way, it was time to head to Moorabbin Airport where we would get a helicopter to Phillip Island. Yeah, that's the one, mate. <laughs> this is a beautiful EC-130. It's kind of the pride of the fleet, which is a very nice machine. Now I'm not a big fan of helicopters, but have a look at this view. Island, pretty smooth ride over here, and uh, we'll go see what's happening. It's probably the smoothest helicopter ride I've had. Wasn't too keen to get on, but the pilot, who happens to look a little bit like Daniel Ricciardo, was very uh, smooth operator. He was great. Walking in the room, it was clear to see that this was definitely a Pirelli event. And what would a Pirelli event be without supercars such as the Lamborghinis that you can see right now?
Here's some of Pirelli's big players sat us down and talked to us about what's going on at Pirelli and what kind of brand we can expect Pirelli to grow into. It was definitely clear to see that Pirelli takes both its customers and its motorsport stuff very seriously. Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to an, at the moment, sunny Phillip Island. A quick show of hands, who has never driven around Phillip Island before? Turn one, which is down here to your, uh, to your right, is one of the fastest corners on any track in Australia in motorsport, of any circuit. Very, 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 very fast corner that we're not gonna be taking fast today. In my opinion, this is the best driver's circuit we have in Australia. So it's, a, it's an amazing experience. Uh, cars can exceed well into the 280, 290, even 300 kilometers an hour uh, on the main straight at Phillip Island, giving the car that you're in the wind direction and all the rest of it, because it's quite a long straight. Part of this experience is not just about the car and the tire, but it's also having experience of, this, of the car and the tire on this circuit. So that you come away thinking, wow, I've driven that, I've done this, and I've learned a few things. Education from a driving point of view, very important. I've never driven around Phillip Island before. It's pretty wet, but it's been raining on and off here. It seems that the track's got pretty good drainage um, because it dries up pretty quick, even though all the showers are passing through all the time. So it should be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how these tyres go in these conditions. Should be good. I just can't wait to get out on the track. They said no sliding. Uh, that's a shame. It is what it is. G'day mate, how are you? Good mate, good mate. So uh, tell us a bit about Phillip Island and the challenges of, uh, especially in the wet driving here today. Yeah, yeah, look, uh, Phillip Island I think is, well it's world renowned. Mm -hmm. uh, um, international motorsport comes here every year um, yeah. and makes a big impression because it is, it's got to be one of our, if not our best driver's circuit in Australia. Okay. Um, it's an incredible place to be. The thing with Phillip Island mate, you will get four seasons in one day. Yeah. Almost like today, you know, you, you, it'll be, uh, dry up that part, it'll be yeah. wet down that yeah. part, yeah. it'll be snowing over there, uh, you know, and there'll be leaves falling out the back. So, um, for a driver perspective, it's it's super tricky, you know, especially our customers today are driving... Not a bad noise. Yeah, great noise. Our customers today uh, are driving cars they've never driven, potentially ever driven before. Yeah. On top of that challenge, they're left-hand drive cars, yeah. which is something a lot, of, not, a lot of, not a lot of people get to drive, yeah. uh, around a circuit that is uh, very, very fast, yeah. and very challenging. But yeah. the circuit itself, mate, is... Um, when you do a good lap here, it's like you, you put a, it puts a smile on your face. Yeah, it's yeah. fast, it's flowing, you, yeah. you know. And in these cars in particular, they're, they're fantastic. Really, I'm looking forward to it, mate. Yeah, mate, you have a lot of fun. So, what you, 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 you guys run a lot of training programs? Yeah. So, basically, my team comes in yeah. and assists assists the brand with uh, uh -huh. running the day. So, I've got instructors leading the customers in their cars, uh -huh. talking to them on radio, giving them feedback about where to be, what to do, yeah. and also uh, product trained on the cars themselves, so they yeah. can tell them what mode to put the cars into. Yeah. Um, my guys are all experienced, great race car drivers, championship winning drivers, uh, and they've got a lot of knowledge about this circuit in particular. So. It's not just an experience of the car itself. What we try and imbue into every day is a is an education. I want people to leave feeling as though they've learned something. Yep. So you need to learn something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. Absolutely. <laughs> fit that well. In terms of modern day supercars, the Huracan Evo is a powerful thing. Producing 470 kilowatts of power and 600 newton meters of torque, this thing ripped around the track. It's pretty feisty, this thing. It must be crazy in these MotoGP bikes, these blind corners you can't see flying around here. It must be nuts. 
As you can see, the track was absolutely soaking wet, so this really put a bit of a limit on how much we could explore the tyres. But one thing's for certain, the car and the tyres and the track put a massive smile on my face. all the time I really don't fit in this one with the helmet I don't know how the race car drivers do it obviously they sit a lot lower but I am cramped as it's not about me this thing straight away feels really wide hey really wide Well, what more can you say other than Aventador S? This thing is powered by a 6.5 litre V12, producing a crazy 544 kilowatts and 690 newton metres of torque. There's a lot more mechanical, this Aventador. A lot more mechanical. The, Evo, the Hurricane Evo. The noise this thing makes when it gets high up in the rev range literally makes the hairs on your arms not stand up but fall off. On the day, the Urus was probably the most easy car to drive in the wet weather conditions. The 4-litre twin-turbo V8 producing 478 kilowatts and 850 newton metres of torque felt like an absolute monster on the wet track. You could accelerate hard out of corners, hard down the straight, everywhere. the most muddy uterus around. What's Come your on. involvement with today? I'm uh, here representing Performance Drive. Oh, Performance Drive, okay. Yeah. I'll just wait for this boom gate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I definitely are fit better in this one. 
Yeah. Then the other two. And when we go up the hill, I'll just get you to drop the front over mm -hmm. so it's ready to go and then right. take your foot off the brake just so you can feel the descent control. Now this is something I don't think many Eurus customers are going to do. Nonetheless, we put it to the test in a little off-road situation. Now as you can see, this is not exactly the Australian Outback, but it's not a bad test course to give us an idea of how the Eurus can act off-road. Thing. The uh, unfortunately the course has got a bit muddy, so they've I had to cut mine short a little bit. Didn't get to do the little loop thing. That's all right. Now we're going to go inside, I believe, have lunch. The Eurus is one of the cars that I fit in really well. Just have a look at these things. is over. Philip Island. We are going back to the chopper. Thanks for lunch mate. No, thank you. Legend. Back on the chopper. What have you been doing to kill your boredom watching Sally? Oh just a bit of study and <laughs> yeah, yeah. a bit of this and that. Hopefully not learning how to fly this thing, eh, no? <laughs> yeah, just trying to figure it all out. <laughs> drink waiting for a bit of an interview to talk with Dimitri he's gonna have a chat with me about Pirelli and stuff we can talk to him about some interesting things find out a little bit more about the brand that'll be interesting but until then I've ordered a uh, salted caramel cocktail let's have a look how that goes eh? how are you Dimitri fine thank you how are you very very good Got some questions for you today. What are two things you love about working for Pirelli? Oh, passion mm -hmm. that we have in the company mm -hmm. and our products, of course. Right. How do you? How is the? How important is the Australian market with, to Pirelli? Australia is a really big market mm -hmm. uh, in the APAC region, APAC and Pacific. That mm -hmm. is the region that we have. APAC is the third biggest market. Okay, it's very big, interesting, and very good mix. So our products can be represented here in a perfect way. Tonight we're going to go see Pirelli World. I'm pretty excited. You want to give us a little bit of a, you know, what's what's the appeal to Pirelli World, and and why should customers come down and have a look? So, the Pizza World is a unique experience for the Pirelli users. You can experience their their really mm -hmm. the passion of Pirelli, the our products, the performance products. Mm -hmm. uh, you can experience also the right fitment of your sport car, if you have a sport car. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course you can see all the partners that we have and they are working together. And we are creating, let's say, fashion, promotion and design uh, out of the tires. So it's a unique experience uh, and I invite you to visit it yeah. and to live this experience together with us. It's going to be good. Oh, it's very easy to answer. Lamborghini or Ferrari or Ferrari Lamborghini? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Country road. Okay. Turbocharged is not bad. Okay. 
the last year's automatic. Okay. But I like the manual one. Because the cars are getting so fast that it's, it's hard yes. to keep up. Yes. I cannot answer because probably my sons are going to see this interview. <laughs> so let's say on. <laughs> okay, no worries. Thank you very much. You're welcome. No worries. Cool. Thank you so much. Done. That's it. Quick. Welcome to P0 World. After Los Angeles in 2016, Munich in 2017, Monaco in 2018, and Dubai earlier in 2019, Melbourne is the latest. What you see is a tyre store that can solve all your Pirelli needs. From tyres for hypercars to luxury and regular passenger cars, if it's Pirelli tyres you're after, then you'll arguably get the best Pirelli advice there is to offer at this very establishment. The Melbourne branch of P0 World has been born with the help of Mag Wheel and Tyre, a successful pre-existing business that has been in operation since the year 2000. Horatio Pagani is going to turn up here uh, because I'm going to put this camera away I'm going to use my phone if I do happen to see him here I'm going to get a selfie with him and uh, you know that'd be pretty cool yeah, it's got a real premium feel to it this place you know I mean uh, obviously this is a Pirelli world there's only one of five in the world I think they've done a pretty stellar job I'm not going to film all night because there's people in there uh, enjoying themselves having a drink they don't want the camera poking around in their eyes this this has been good this is good okay goodbye